All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, I'm going to show you one of the- oh my god, look at that. That's the ice giant in the background. We unlocked in one of the secret units. We released a video yesterday showing how to get all nine secret units for this patch, but I'm going to be showing you today how to make a freaking tornado. A natural disaster. I'm not joking. This is serious. And I'm gonna show you the new best unit in the game. All right, so the Dynasty faction is out, and I felt it was only fitting to give the Dynasty faction its just desserts or its due. Look at these guys. They're so impressive. So my first inclination was like, oh, melee units not supported by range, let's use archers. We can't really do that, can we? All right, so it looks like the samurai are spread out in three different formations of six, led by one of the warrior monks from presumably a temple nearby. Look at that. Okay, just take a moment and appreciate how freaking gorgeous that is. This is like, this is a wallpaper I could put on my computer. If I, if I ever closed a game long enough to look at it. All right, so what I decided to go with, oh my God, look at that. How did that happen? Hold on, let's, let's do that one again. One of these samurai was immediately killed. Okay, arrow out. Oh, that's what happened. So they block one, and for some reason, I totally planned it this way. Not really. <laughs> was that, um, you know, they were supposed to divide and conquer, but instead they decided to like, you know what, let's just appreciate local superiority right here. Okay, look at this. The samurai, the battle for the bridge isn't really going as planned up here. I put a cheerleader here. I figured, you know what, he's one of the new units, but he's not firing fast enough with only one cheerleader, and they're a thousand dollars. So that might be, if I lose this battle, it's because of that right there. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna lose. They, they knocked us off the bridge here. Uh, there's three samurais charging my archer right here. Well, they're converging on my last few units from three different sides. And what are you guys doing? This isn't- no, this is no time to take a bath, although, look at that. This is definitely one of the most impressive maps I've seen. Lots of detail, lots going on, and we're getting absolutely wrecked. And the samurai- I'm like, oh, samurai, let's put in archers. And we're dead. Because these guys- oh, look at this. I'm drowning my- Alright, this time I feel like we've got a pretty good force. I did include some archers. Hopefully it distracts them. We also have potion throwers. And look at this. We already got one of them down to arrow fire. So you know what? Uh, it's a win for us. I guess one of the reasons we lose the bridge is because these guys don't hold the freaking bridge. They're like, oh, let's just go down here and fight over the big bridge. That looks nice and pretty. Alright, boys. I want you to have a nice clean fight unless they're winning. Oh my god. The samurai blocked the potion in a Landed on my guys, so now we gotta deal with this monk. I've noticed that the monk doesn't really kill people as much as he does kind of knock them over. Eventually he kills them, but it's more of definitely a distracting unit right there. Oh wow. So we finally got the monk. Let's see if my forces can overpower the samurai. Who's better? Squires? Or samurai? Well, it looks like right now- Oh god, look at this. <laughs> they're just- they're using the, uh, hey, I'm gonna use my friend as body armor strategy. I- I think we could win this one. I mean, we could. I'm not saying we are going to, we just could. And by we could, I mean, that means if we can, that means we also cannot. And we're dead. Come on, guys! Alright, one thing I've learned is that this, uh, the ancient faction, excuse me, tribal faction chieftain is one of the best melee specialists in the game. They should be able to dispatch these samurai pretty easily. Let's see. Okay, we lost one. We only lost one in, well, two, in that skirmish. Come on, boys. Now what I need you to do, look at that. Hold on. We won the battle of this bridge with two guys. This one we lost, however. So this is a little scary, it depends on- Oh look, we got a child soldier! Poor kid! You should be staying in school instead of fighting for Uncle Baron in the war! Because you're probably gonna be thrown in a pit or something. Look at that, and then that's where you find the uh, samurai giant. Ooh, I guess we could've used the samurai giant. Come on, boys, we got this one. Easy! Easy peasy! What have we learned? These guys rock samurai. The honorable samurai have came to the bridge of destiny to hold the ancient temple from my invasion force. 
I am compiled. Am, am I compiled? I don't, I'm not really sure. Anyway, we got people from all the different factions. The strategy is we send in this melee force here. They blocked all the arrows. The archers are actually supposed... You guys, you guys may be the worst at, like, following orders. Shield Boy was supposed to go across the bridge and distract the ninjas. Not go after this army. Because these ninjas are gonna cut every- and if you fall down the- Nope, we're dead. There you go. There you have it. Hey, we're actually- we've actually killed a few of them. Now, all archers are about to die. Real quick, like, you gotta love the ninjas. Yeah, we're totally dead because, um, what's happening here is that's a lot of shuriken. Oh! Oh snap, son! Oh, I thought he was gonna fall into the pit of doom. So there's what, one left? Come on, come on! Oh, snap! Oh, wow. Yeah, that did not work out well. Okay, fine. We can't rely on this. Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We have just enough for an Artemis. Alright, Artemis. You, this is, oh my god, yes, she's got such good range. Every unit, oh shoot, I forgot those are samurai. And they're doing a really good job of blocking. I think she's gonna be able to deal with all of them. Yeah, there's only three samurai left. You know what that means. Two just got taken out one salvo. Now these ninjas get taken out from afar. Um, she can probably take even a few shuriken. Maybe we should use just, like, secret units only. Yeah! Secret units only. Did, were any of these guys knocked in the pit of doom? Come on, Artemis! We got a pit of doom for a reason! It's time to use it. Oh my god. That's what you call easy boys. Scott! Oh my god. What? Did you see this guy? He is a ninja. He dodged two salvos and then he got hit in the nether region and the heart. And in his dying wish, he dabbed. He dabbed on us. What does it mean? Teach me your ways, oh great sensei. This is interesting. Even though we have the money, only certain special units are allowed in here. So this looks pretty challenging. We've got three monks. Each one is gonna hold a bridge. Then we've got two dragons and a bunch of firework archers. And we start with $4,000 and I have an idea here and that is to use the mighty Valkyries. Three ice archers each. All right, here we go. Valkyries, it is all gonna come down to you. Hopefully, not too many of you guys get hit with these firework arrows. Ooh, did that guy- This guy, we only lost one to a one firework, although this one might explode here. Let's see. Alright, go boom. Go boom. Let's see. Oh, it knocks him over. Okay, it didn't kill him. Oh my god! The Valkyries are getting roasted alive over here. But they're doing a pretty good job at distracting the dragons at the very least. Okay, how do we do over here? This guy turned to ice and he's still knocking over our guys. <laughs> he is legitimately a true contender for probably one of the best warriors in tabs, I'd say. He's definitely one of the best trained and he's got the coolest mask I've ever seen. Who's this lady? Oh, she's one of the people holding the dragons. Okay, she's dead. All right, so how are we doing over here? Wait, did you hear that? The dragons like roar. All right. Just keep hitting these guys with frosty arrows. Slow them down. They gotta get close to burn you. And if they don't, well, it's victory to us. <laughs> yes! Now it's just the holders right here, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's how you defeat these guys. It's fun how in tabs, every unit seems to have like a natural counter, and then maybe some counters that you wouldn't have exactly expected. Oh, we have a Valkyrie under the bridge. I was wondering why they were stopping there. Oh, the dragon is actually gonna- oh, The dragon was gonna fall and probably, like, put that guy into the river and he would have not made it. Okay, well that's a little bit excessive. We've got Hawachas on the front lines here. Hmm, I'm thinking we use the bi- uh, the Vikings. I almost said the Vikings? Is that words? Excuse me? And you know what, if we can- if we can afford an Artemis, I say we do it. Alright, so I'm hoping that he jumps over them into the Hawacha. <laughs> hey, he destroyed that Hawacha, didn't he? Alright, there's one Hawacha left. If we get taken out by the Hawacha, there we go, we're good. I, I think we can win this one. Artemis is just the anti-dynasty faction, as far as I can tell. Samurai are great. Ninjas are good, too. But Artemis is still the second most expensive. I don't know if it's the best, but I think she's the best unit in the game. Alright, Samurai. You have brought honor to your family. I want you to know that. Right before you fall in combat- Oh my god, you're dodging. You're doing a really good job. Well, you were. You have brought honor to your family. And I have been proud to have known you. And to defeat you too. This is gonna be tricky. 
We've got a lot of firework archers. Be a man. And that, that, that's what's going through my head. Even though this is technically Japanese and Mulan was about the Chinese fighting the Mongols, it's still... The, the point's still the same, so if this ballista guy will stop derping out, if he could fire and hit that entire line... Okay, you got one. I put you- what are you doing? Oh, I thought he turned into a helicopter, he got hit by the firework. Oh my god, they're still alive! Shield guys get alive! They get alive? They stay alive. I think. This is actually working. The Valkyries are great. I think Valkyries are one of the best units- uh oh. This one has got a little bit extra speed on him. And he gonna get boom boom time, I'll tell you that. Oh, when they blew up, they didn't necessarily die. Okay, so what is this? We got a few firework archers. Excuse me, that's not how you- I want to see how that works. <laughs> yeah, you, well, why don't you stay real close and <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> I love this game. This guy just did a cartwheel. Okay, so their bows and arrows like sometimes go behind them and then they're like, Hey dude, I got this. Check this out, bro. <laughs> and then he gets hit by a Valkyrie. And look at that. That's a victory. All right. All right, two huachas and some sneaky ninjas coming up from the stairs, huh? All right, they've got two huachas, I've got two catapults. They have a couple of ninjas, I've got two protectors and a bunch of archers. You see the strategy here? Let's see how it works. Catapults, you literally failed. You had one job, catapult, and that was to take out the huachas. Instead, well, no, you did it. Oh my god, you had one job and you did it. I'm so proud of you, that, that was totally accurate. All right, there's one ninja going rogue over here. Does he get- Uh-oh. We got ourselves a little bit of an issue. Never mind. He's about to get hit. Oh, he's dodging a lot. And he took an arrow to the knee. Once again, appreciate this. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is that? That's like a, a desktop background. A lot of samurai, a couple ninja, and a few monks. Strategy. Use the unit that the samurai is supposed to defeat, but have a child, so hopefully they feel bad about us. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, or am I? Alright, we got a ballista and we got a bunch of archers. The archers, I don't know, what are you guys doing? And the ballista's missing, so maybe we should have used a catapult, but who knows. We'll see how this one works out. I figured it'd be a very interesting experiment. Oh god. The samurai being bunched up so closely. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe we should have had like two ballistas. I want to use the watches on them. We're taking out the ninjas no problem using archers. And then the ballistas should be able to take out the rest of them. Yeah, now that there's only one samurai. Well, two. Oh god, that archer's getting spilled over the drink right there. Yeah. Ranged weaponry. Guys, there's a ninja over there. Okay, you did. You did good. There we go. There's only one left. He's gonna take a ballista bolt to the back. Or maybe an arrow. Let's see. Which one gets it? Place your bets. Wait, what are you- what are you guys doing? Who are you shooting at? Guys, we- I was- we were- we were taking bets, and you're not participating! Well, I guess, there you go. Look at that. Looks like the archer stole his shield, and he's like, Hey man, you got a cool helmet too. Alright, I think this one might be the final battle, because we've got the Monkey King himself. Definitely one of the coolest units in the game. He can teleport. It's pretty impressive. We showed off teleporting hobbits. It was a modded, uh, a modded ve- um, modded vehicle. Modded unit that we showed off. But remember the rules. If ever you can afford Artemis versus the Dynasty faction, you just do it. Artemis, where are you going? Artemis, you're supposed to be- There we go. There we go, Artemis. So, and then I just have a ton of bards to distract everybody. Oh god, this is kind of scary because we have flamethrowers coming. Come on, Artemis. Take out the people. Uh oh, that might be too many units. She's shooting at the dragon instead of its holders. Maybe you kill the dragon first? Alright, Monkey King's coming. Oh wait, did he? <laughs> That's how you beat the Monkey King. <laughs> he went after a bard who jumped off, and there you go. The most powerful dynasty faction unit that at least isn't a secret one. You distract him into plummeting to his own demise by falling off a waterfall. I'm so proud of my faction. I guess it's a mixed faction. Artemis! No, Artemis! No, we were just talking crap! Artemis, no! <laughs> oh, Artemis. Oh, she's stuck on rocks. No way. Oh, she drowned. All right, well, let's try it again. And this guy fell into the pit of doom. He's definitely not the- Are, are you all gonna follow in the pit of doom? Come on, boys. All right, Artemis, all you gotta do is one thing. Don't end your own existence by falling into the river. Or the pit, or pretty much anywhere else you can fall. I don't want you to fall. 
So don't don't take a few steps forward after this guy's defeated. Oh my god, she's going to do it. No, she's what? She's shooting at the lamp. I guess she doesn't like it. Oh, the Monkey King's still alive. Oh, not anymore. Let's see what's happening over here. He, they're trying to light. Is this a lamp or a little birdhouse? A little Asian birdhouse for hummingbirds. For the the royal dynasty here. Yeah. There we go. We got this one. The samurai is doing a pretty good job. Artemis is so good at countering Dynasty. I feel like if, if ever you're having problems with Dynasty faction, Valkyries in Artemis. Oh! Alright, so we beat- Now there's a whole new Zeus revenge. Oh, you know this is gonna be a Zeus. I think I know what's gonna happen over there. Oh, and now you only get the Dynasty faction. Alright. One big old Hawacha. Nope, not good enough. Although the firework archers are pretty amazing, we've created a space program. Is that the moon? No, that's the sun. We're gonna land a spaceship on it. Because that's how you do space exploration in totally accurate... Well, totally accurate space exploration, right? Look, he fell down to Earth. And we're dead. Alright, firework archers, you know what to do. Send them to the space. If Poland can into space, then totally accurate Dynasty faction can into space. Stop throwing spears at me, guys! It's rude. You, we just killed. You just killed all my army. Fire archers are literally the best. <laughs> Firework archers, but they they don't fire fast enough to deal with conventional ranged infantry. I just realized that the cool thing about this faction is that they don't have a conventional shield unit. The samurai is the blocking unit. Each faction has one. This one actually is a melee specialist as well. There we go, ninja, ninja, ninja! Come on, baby! Throw more shuriken! Before they throw their spears! Oh my god, the samurai just saved that ninja's life! I think- <laughs> Oh, I think- I think we could win this. I don't know if we will. Well, that's- that's- hey, we're- we got a pretty good chance of winning it. What say you, Mr. Tribal Faction Man? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna win this one, boys. The samurai saved the ninja by blocking an incoming spear. Oh man, many a brave samurai died in the making of this episode. Alright, you ready to see some people go to space? Cuz I sure am. Alright, we didn't get all of them. Uh-oh, we didn't get- Yeah, firework explosions, boys! Pick your targets! Protect each other! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're blowing up near us. Oh, and they're actually surviving this. Okay, well, you know what? Mistakes were made, but what are you gonna do, right? Learn from them! And send people into space! Spaceships in space! Shoot! The rocket, man! Oh, wow. I actually thought that may have was gonna work out for a little bit. <gasps> we have a giant one. I mean, we, we gotta do it now, right? Alright, this time, three samurai to distract them. And look at Big Boy Archer! Dude, Mulan has gotten her growth spurt. Check this out. I think that's Mulan. She's masquerading as a dude. She's got to be your man and fight the Mongols. We all know the song. All right, boys. Just, just trust your training and shoot all the bad guys. Please, please, please. All right. I got to remember that these guys are really good at smiting us. Maybe some ninjas are needed because this isn't working. And I can't use secret units at all. Alright, I had just enough money for a monk and four ninjas. Let's see if this works. Are my ninjas too close? Yeah, they're definitely too close. So the idea here is that the monk distracts them, and the ninjas walk in and just smickety smickety smack them all over town. Come on, monk, swap them. Ninjas, swap them. Everybody else, don't die. Oh, there are some shields alive, but the ninjas got him in a crossfire, and that's what you call a victory! This guy's having a real bad day, check this out. He's dodging him, he's pulling some Neos, he's got shurikens, his entrails are falling everywhere! Oh man, and there you go. Shuriken to the dome, son. Alright, so they sent three mammoths to fight us. Naturally, I'm gonna send them into space. <laughs> I've never seen how this is gonna work. Alright, let's unpause time. Uh, well, I guess it pushes them back. Now, if- I hope that kills them. Oh god. Maybe we should have spread out our forces a little bit more. They do get delayed a little bit. Yeah! It like spills them over. <laughs> Look at this one. He's on his back like, rub my tummy. But you're not a doggy. You're a mammoth who is on the warpath and you're trying to hurt us. And we need to bring honor to our families. So if you could just like, you know, maybe not run us over and maybe run the other way. That'd be great. 
I think we could still win this one. This this formation over here should win, although all three mammoths are still alive. Maybe we should try Hawatches. Cause I was just like, mammoths gotta try gotta try mammoth space program. Oh my god, they're all still alive. They're even using one of them as a shield. The mammoth shield is- whenever there's a mammoth, you're gonna see a mammoth shield. It's just- oh my god, seriously, we couldn't do that? Well, if I've got enough for four Hawatches... Really? Oh my god. That's brutal. Oh my gosh, the mammoths are- this is how the mammoths went extinct. Hawatches! Oh, they're gonna get it- he's gonna get it right in the tuchus. Right in the tuchus- well, no, he got it in the face, because this one was like, Hey, I'm gonna fire- look at this. You think even these are gonna hit their- well, then maybe they would actually gone for the dome. You got dome, son! Alright, so probably one of the best units in the game, honestly, especially for craziness, is this unit. No, not this beautiful mace spinner, even though he's awesome and his armor's glorious and he's got maces that would make Sauron envious, but this is the cheerleader unit. So what we're gonna try to do is see how fast these guys spin when they get cheerleaded a lot. So they're doing a fantastic job. Look at this guy. He, he looks like he's breakdancing. Hold on. Where did everybody go? What? We created a tornado? Holy crap! This is... What a... It's a... I... Uh, <laughs> Landfall, you guys are mad scientists. You guys are genius. Why did- What is happening? This is not Oh my god. I feel like if I put that in a thumbnail, I'll be like, is that- I mean, it is just glorious. Now we got little bushes going over. Oh my god, okay. What if I give more of them? We just created tornadoes. So naturally, more cheerleaders, right? And maybe another tornado. All right. They have standard formations of melee units and a few healers. It is time for us to unleash the tornadoes. Now, I missed it at first. Okay. There's one tornado, two tornadoes, three tornadoes. I think one of the tornadoes soaked up two of the macemen. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. You can see them spinning around. One guy just kind of got taken for a ride. I don't think he really wants to be a part of this tornado. He actually just fell out of it. And the tornado's going into space! Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh my gosh. Is it... Is it flying? Oh, it was a red victory. I wish it would have kept going. I want to see just how high... Let's see, because I don't think they're supposed to get up there. So naturally, here's my idea. Could we... Could we... Go to the Dynasty faction here and create... A ton of firework archers. All right, so the idea here is that these guys are gonna turn into tornadoes. Maybe? No, I guess the, oh! I wanted to get a tornado, oh, with some uh, fireworks in it to see if it couldn't take off. There we go, we've created, we're going into space, boys! Yes! Oh my God, like, look at that. There, that's, that's Mount Olympus for scale. Oh, now it's, now it's plummeting down to Earth? Now he's going back up. Wait, is that- is that both of them? What are you doing up there, buddy? How is this happening? This has gotta be the craziest thing that I've ever seen in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Like... The- Easily! We can create... Natural disasters? What about earthquakes? King Leonidas is 300, well, technically 100. Sir, please put your shield in proper formation. All right, what we're gonna do is we are gonna con create a fully automatic and operational Death Star. No, this is going to be a rapid firing Hawacha using the cheerleaders. I don't think it's ever going to stop. It's a rolly, not a stopwatch. Hawacha, I wish you had firework arrows. Oh my God. My frames are just going to absolute bonkersville. Look at this. Can you imagine charging that? Like, these hoplites are actually doing pretty good, honestly. Look at him. Because, oh, this guy only has like two in his shield, maybe that's why. The other guys are distracting him. I wouldn't say he's necessarily doing well. He just hasn't been absolutely smited. Oh my god, that's, that's, that's what you call a rout. An absolute rout, boys! We've created tornadoes. Oh! 101 swordsmen? Great, sir. Are you having, are you having trouble? Did you not go to training camp? He didn't go to squire training camp. He'll never be a knight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to create an automatic snake gun. Well, I guess I guess that's pretty dang fast. Oh, oh, never mind. 
He's starting to pick it up. Even if he misses, the snakes just go out there and bite these guys. This is absolute, like, reptilian... Oh my god, yes. We- the- the science experiments we've done here, in this, so far, have been incredible. I don't know if he's going to make it, although the snakes are doing- well, never mind. Every time I'm like, oh, he's about to be overrun, the leading guy gets targeted and snakes start biting him. I don't even know where he is. Well, I know, generally. He's gotta be in the middle of this, right? Can we see him? Alright, where are you, mister? There he is! I saw his quiver first. But it's funny how in the quiver it's just arrows, it's not snakes, right? Yeah, it's just arrows. That's not even real! Alright, boys, come on! Come on. Come on, you reds! I mean, you blues. I'm cheering for the blues. This is the Manchester City versus Manchester United. Manchester City, all they gotta do to win is have an automatic snake gun and a bunch of cheerleaders. Maybe, you know, a few billionaires to, you know, put a lot of money into their club so they can buy all the best players, right? All right, that's awesome. A lot of hay balers. Zeus with cheerleaders. I mean, all right, Zeus. Release the crap. Zeus, what do you, he fell. Maybe he had too much power that he fell. Oh, he's getting absolutely mopped. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he got, he got overwhelmed. Maybe it's the hay balers. Hay balers are really good. Well, well, well. If it's not another farmer's rebellion and another guy who just doesn't know how to hold his weapon or even his slicker. Come on. Come on, Zeus. All right, this is working a lot better. I don't know why Zeus fell over in the last time. Some of these lightning bolts are bouncing back on his own forces. Oh my god, he just lost all of his cheerleaders. He don't need it. What up, Zeus? Oh my god, that's glorious. Zeus, you won the tournament, yeah! Look at that lightning. God, I love freeze motion. Well, it only seemed fitting that we try out the scarecrow. Oh my god, the birds, man! The freaking birds! There's so many birds that he's getting taken with them. And I think he's dead now. And now all these cheerleaders, <laughs> they don't really fight, or, or do they? I guess they are swinging at them, aren't they? They're, I, I'm not seeing any farmers getting knocked over to melee attacks, though. So, the crows seem to do pretty well. Alright, what about a frost archer? Alright, dude. I wanna see, can you take out 100? Which unit seems to be the best supported against 100 enemies by a bunch of cheerleaders? Alright, so we're seeing it from his viewpoint. Look at this, man. The farmers? Uh, a lot of his arrows are missing. I, I wonder if the cheerleader just makes them fast, but maybe there's like a drop in speed and accuracy. Well, not speed, excuse me. Accuracy. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, what about a regular? Oh, wait a minute. It only makes sense that we try a firework archer. Maybe two. We're gonna do two firework archers. Hold on. It's breaking the rules. Firework archer! You know what to do. Send these boys into space. Oh my god, this is gonna be- this is gonna be absolutely anar- like, anarchy. Sheer anarchy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And all these units, if a- if a firework bursts on them, they're dead. Now, if there's any friendly fire with one of these fireworks, they're gonna be completely detrimental. Oh my gosh! The explosions, the shrapnel. I'm not seeing any more fireworks. Yeah. I think they got overrun. Wow. Alright, Mr. Ninja. Go, Ninja. Let's do this. Fire the shuriken. He fires pretty fast already. Oh god. Maybe he fell over? Oh no, he... He's got defensive maneuvers. Come on, start throwing the shuriken! You can't really tell what's happening. You just see a lot of farmers going down. They're trying to stick him. I... I... I still hear shuriken. I don't see them. That didn't well end too well. I mean, you gotta remember, this is a hundred units charging at them, right? All right, Sensei, show us how it's done. Bring honor to all of our families. Guys, this is Tabs, let me know- Oh my god, what are you doing? Is he dead? Oh, he's about to die. Never mind. <laughs> he doesn't even know how to move. I think he's about to get stuck. Oh my god. That may be close to record time, at least for farmers. I guess we could show Artemis, and Artemis is gonna absolutely work the floor with this. <gasps> Mini Artemis! Mini Artemis! <laughs> Where are you? Oh my god. I don't know what Mini Artemis is expected to do. Well, she can still shoot. 
Mini Artemis is going to take out this entire army. Oh, uh, well, unless she keeps shooting randomly. Go cheerleaders, yeah! Wait. Where'd Artemis go? Oh my god, what are they doing? They're cheering on each other! That's what's happening. Artemis must have, like, destroyed herself. Now, th there's so many more units that can fly now! The cheerleaders have this amazing, like, triple jump, and this one has a very small head. Alright, now we got a regular size Artemis. So, this is what happens. Artemis, 100 farmers. I'm sorry, but I, I know the outcome of this one. Everybody on that blue side is gonna get wrecked. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is- <laughs> why are you over here? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she's shooting in all directions. She's just worried that she might get attacked from anywhere. So, every now and then she's like, what's behind me? And she shoots. Yeah. So, I gotta say that the cheerleaders are probably the best support unit that there is in the game. Look at this. And it's over. Boys, you gotta love it. That is how you make a tornado in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.